Hey, happy Sunday. Holy hell. How is it Sunday already? Sorry, I just had a coughing fit. Damn, allergies are driving me crazy. It's not hot outside. I'm not dressed like this because it's hot. Um, no, I've been working out. and I was, I, I was too sweaty to put my hoodie back on. It would just feel disgusting. You know how it is? You get, a, you get sweaty and then you have to put on something over it. It's just the most disgusting feeling in the world. I think no, it's not the most disgusting feeling. You know what the most disgusting feeling is? Fishing food out of the drain in the kitchen sink. <laughs> that is disgusting. It's always cold. It's always slimy somehow. It doesn't matter what it is. It's cold and slimy and it just feels like death. Like, oh God. My younger son the other day cleaned his plate out. My kids do clean their plates and, you know, bring them into the kitchen and, you know, clean them off. Well, my younger son did that and there was some chicken left on his plate. He just left it in the sink, let it go down in the drain. I said, uh-uh, uh, -uh. uh Get your little goofy butt up and come in here and get it. I made him, I made him clean it out. Like, I'm not touching it. I am not touching that. That's nasty. So, um, all right. What have I done today? Well, I got everything out of the cabinets in the kitchen because the cabinet people are supposed to come in the morning to yank my cabinets out. Let's just hope that they don't break my countertop. They did tell me that was a distinct possibility. They could break the countertop. I swatty if they break my countertop, I'm just gonna give up. I'm just gonna give up on everything. I'm just gonna light the house on fire. I'm just gonna be done at that point. Like I swear to, to the Lord above, if you break my countertop, after everything I went through to get that damn countertop, if you break it, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna set the whole world on fire. That's just gonna be the end of existence for all of humanity. I'm gonna just, I'm just take everybody out. Don't do it. I can't take another misadventure, another mishap in this process. I, I can't, I can't do it. So let's hope that doesn't happen. They said there's also a chance it could get broken when the new counter, when the cabinets are put back. <laughs> yes, I get to scrunch up my nether regions twice in this process as I watch and hope to hell that it all goes okay. <laughs> and I, my countertops are going to be pulled out for a minimum of four days. Yeah, where are they going to be? Probably in the way. They're just going to be in the way. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're going to be in the way. Because they can't come do the drywall until Thursday. And then I have to wait for the countertop people or for the cabinet people to come back. When are they coming back? I don't know yet. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I've been making video, you know, I've been kind of documenting all of this since the beginning. And um I don't know how it's gonna end. I don't know. But we'll see. If Paradise doesn't, you know, doesn't want to be nice to me, if they want to be assholes about all this, because they're still saying they're not responsible for any of this. They're still saying none of this is their fault. If they want to be assholes about it, I think we'll just do a story time video on my other channel and we'll just let the whole fucking world know about it. Maybe I might do that. I got all the video footage and all my notes and everything. I could put together a a humdinger of a video to document this entire uh, scenario and I will be may I will be uh, letting the Better Business Bureau know I'm gonna let everybody know I'm gonna let everybody know how shitty they are in great detail because I have been documenting all of this you can call me a Karen I don't care I don't care that doesn't mean anything to me um, I tell you what words don't matter they're words you know whatever Sometimes I do think, take things personally. I am overly defensive. I think because of just past shit. And I don't know that I'll ever completely get over it. But if you could ever get to the point that other people's words don't affect you, I think that would be incredibly liberating. They can't stop you. What can they do to you? Nothing. So I'm going to take some stuff to Goodwill. I can't decide what I want to do with the air conditioner. I keep, t I turn it off and then it feels stuffy in here and then I turn it on. Let me bump it up a little bit. 
It's very stuffy in here when you turn the air off. Ugh, the air just feels weird. It's heavy. I have some stuff in the car that I'm taking to Goodwill. I have taken a lot of stuff to the little thrift store. I'm taking all the good stuff to them. I would rather they sell it and have the money than Goodwill. I'm still pissed at Goodwill. I'm not happy with them. They keep jacking up their prices. They've done away with all of their discounts for everybody. You know, uh, are they trying to be like a, a retail clothing store? Because it's about to the point if their prices go up anymore, you might as well just buy the shit new. I mean, my God. So, ooh, isn't it pretty today? Woo! The leaves are changing a bit. I don't know that this is going to be a year where we have really good color on the leaves. I know it depends on rainfall throughout the year and temperatures or something as to how how pretty the leaves are. We haven't had a year with really pretty leaves in a while. I mean, you know, they turn and they, they look nice, but I mean, just like to have a year with just really, really vibrant color, we haven't had that in a, in a while. I, I don't know that we're going to have it this year either. Some years, some years, basically, the leaves just turn brown and fall off. Like, they don't really do anything. And I'm seeing some of that as I'm driving along here. I'm seeing several trees. It looks like the leaves are just turning brown. Like, they're not even a color. It'd be like, they're not yellow or red. or No, it looks like they're just turning brown. They're just going to fall off. Ugh. That might be what happens with a lot of these. I don't know. It's kind of depressing. But yeah, I will definitely put my hoodie back on before. I'm, I'll probably go into Goodwill after I drop my stuff off. I might as well. I don't buy anywhere near as much as I used to. I don't. I mean, and my, my discount card won't be any good after, I think, June of next year is when they're doing away with that. So, those cards won't work anymore either. There won't be any discounts. Oh, they they have up a sign. Look for new savings opportunities in July of 2023. Yeah, I'll bet. Save $5 off a $400 purchase. It'll be something like that. Like, y'all are lame. You know, even for Goodwill, that's lame. Come on now. Yeah, they, they, they keep touting their free text coupons or whatever. Yeah, so what happens is now you can sign up to get texts from Goodwill, which, you know, you don't get enough notifications throughout the day. You need Goodwill harassing you as well. Oh my God. So, they they do send out little coupons, but here's the catch. So, they'll um, say it's like Monday or Tuesday. Save 25% this Thursday only. And it's always on a day that I can't go there anyway. It's always on a day that I can't go. And even if I could go, oh, was a little dead orange kitty cat in the road. It's not Wally. Oh, it was a small cat. Oh, that makes me sad. It looked like Wally, but small. Oh, I love orange cats. They're so sweet. Sorry. That just made me sad. I hate to see a cat in the road like that. Oh. Uh, anyway. So, it'll be a coupon for 20% off, 25% off, whatever. But it's just one day. And it'll be really crowded that day, too, because the other, pe other people who get the texts will get that same text. And so, it's for everybody. It's just that one day. It's not, it's not for any longer. It's that one day. You have to go on that day or it won't be any good. For one visit. One visit on one day. You can't go to multiple stores and use it. No. No, you can only use it in one, one, one transaction, one purchase, one order, whatever. And then it's, and then it's, you can't use it again. A lot of people were really pissed off about that because a lot of people around here, um, when they have a special like that, like what they used to do on the last day of the month, you would get 20% off your purchase and it was unlimited. Like you could, and what people would do is they would go to multiple stores on that day and get the 20% off. They would buy stuff at multiple stores. No, they've done away with that too. Um, they don't do that anymore. So you have to have the text and it will give you the little QR code and it's only good for one use. It's just pathetic. Like, I mean, damn. So 
I have made the decision to stop taking all of my good donations here. I don't bring them here. I bring them crap the little thrift store would not want. So, y'all can have my crap. The good stuff is going to the little thrift store because at least they're, you know, they have good prices and the people are nice and it's just a, a very different atmosphere. And every bit of the money that is donated goes to local charities. It doesn't go for salaries or anything like that. All of the employees there, all the people who staff that store are volunteers. They don't they don't get paid. And the church, there's a church that you know owns the building and I guess you know takes care of everything for the building. So yeah, they donate the money to local charities. So I'd rather give my stuff to them. <sighs> Well, now I'm cold. Now I'm cold. I, I, I got stopped and now I'm chilly. I'm working on laundry at home. I got laundry in the washer. I can go home and deal with that. Sorry. Where's the arm? I hate trying to put on or take off a, a hoodie or a jacket in the car. Sometimes it's impossible. You have to just get out to do it. I am really tired for some reason. I don't know why. You ever just... You ever just get really tired and there's no, you know, there's no reason to feel that way. You just do. I have been like that all weekend. I have been so sleepy all weekend. I haven't wanted to really do anything. I don't think I'm getting sick or anything. I'm just, I'm just tired and I'm really not looking forward to this week. I'm really not. I hope taking the countertops out is a quick, simple process that doesn't cause further destruction. That would be really great. That would be really great if that was the case, but um, I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But, yes. Oh, sorry. Oh. I guess I'm gonna go drop my stuff off and then I will go in for a minute and go home and work on laundry. Doesn't that sound great? I think it's awesome. Um, I think what I want to do for my other channel, the video tonight I want to do, if I can rally myself enough to do it, um, I think I'm going to do an outfit of the week video. With I bought some stuff at the little thrift store yesterday, and I, I bought this cute little skirt and a cardigan, and I thought they looked really cute together. And it kind of inspired me to do an outfit of the week video. But it's not stuff I'm actually going to wear because I work at home. If I were still working in an office, I would totally wear these outfits. But um, Oh, and I bought a necklace at the little thrift store yesterday bleh, Yesterday that was really pretty. And uh, so, but I'll put together, I like to put together outfits with the stuff I do have. I still have plenty of business casual stuff, like clothing and stuff and shoes. Because if I ever do go back to work in an office, I'm going to need it. And I'm still holding on to that. Like the attorney I work for, I love him to death, but he's not he's not a spring chicken. And I'm not saying that he's planning, he's not planning to retire or anything, but he is in his 70s and he does seem to be slowing down. And uh, it just makes me wonder, you know, how much longer is he really gonna work? I don't know. I really don't know. So I'm thinking ahead to what do I want to do? I don't want to keep working with this firm. There's nobody else there that I work with. And I, I really just don't want to work with them anymore. If he's, if I'm not working with him, I don't want to work with them. I am fully set up to work remotely and do what I do. I may talk to our biggest client and see if they know of any, cause they have plenty, they have other U S firms that do work for them. And I might check and see if, if any of them need anybody part-time. If not, there is a local law firm that I interviewed with two or three years ago that I felt really good about. I really liked this group and I really wanted to take a job with them, but I had to choose between them and another opportunity and I went with the other opportunity. But I still think about them. They're still on my mind and I still think, you know, you want to go back and talk to them. If you're thinking about working somewhere, you should go talk to them again and see if they have any, any part-time work or anything. I think I'll do that. Um, 
And if I did that, I would need stuff to wear. I would need my business casual clothes again. So, I don't know. I thought about I thought about talking to them about it. And uh, just, I, no, I'm not saying I'm going to do that right now. But, you know, if and when the time comes that the attorney I work for does retire or, you know, I hate to say it, but if and when that time comes, I have to think about myself like, well, what am I going to do now? You know, not to sound cold-hearted, but I do have to think about what I'm going to do for, you know, myself. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm always planning ahead because I don't like to get caught off guard. I don't like surprises. I really don't like surprises. I like to know what's coming. So, I over-prepare for things sometimes. But, no, I, so I have a, a closet full of, you know, stuff I could wear to work. And stuff I could make outfits out of. I have gotten rid of some of it, but I kept, I still have a lot of it. So I'm gonna to put together some outfits for a video tonight, I think. That's the plan right now. I'm gonna to have to go home, take a shower, redo my makeup, and you know, look more presentable, but I might try to do that. It's about three o'clock now, so I have time to go home and work on laundry and goof off a little bit first. And maybe then I'll get into it. A lot of times, I can't really get motivated to do video stuff until on over at night. You know, at 8, eight or 9 o'clock at night. I don't know why. I just can't get motivated to do it before then. I don't know. I don't know why. I just have a hard time getting motivated earlier in the day to do it. Part of the problem is you, it's noisier during the day. It's just people out and about just making more racket. And there's more to edit out. Or more noise to work around. You have lawnmowers, leaf blowers, cars driving around, you know. So it's more it's more noisy. But if you wait until later in the evening, it's not quite so bad. So that's my plan is to do outfits of the week. And the videos this coming week are just gonna have to I'm just gonna have to play it by ear because I don't even know what's gonna happen this week. We're just gonna have to wait and see. My kitchen is gonna be all torn up, so I can't make any videos in there. I was going to do a video showing you all my Halloween decorations, but I can't even do that because my table is piled up with all the shit that was in my kitchen cabinets now. There's stuff all over the table. There's stuff in the dining room all over the floor everywhere. And Oh my God. And it's going to be like that probably all week. So it looks, it looks terrible. I'm going to have to be digging through and tripping over shit all week. So I'm not very happy about it. But yeah, when it's all said and done, I may very well do a little story time video about Paradise Home Improvement and the shit show that has been my life for the last six months. It was a, roughly six months ago today that they started in putting on my new siding. Half a year. And I'm still dealing with the fallout of that. My God in heaven. I never knew that having siding installed would put my countertop in the kitchen in jeopardy. I never I never saw that coming. I never knew it would involve pulling my cabinets out. Good God. So stupid. Anyway, um, all I've done is complain. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I really hope that your weekend has been good. Mine's been pretty good. I'm keeping the sun out of my eyes. Mine's been pretty good. It's been pretty good. And, uh, yeah, I, I hope you have had a good one. I hope your week coming up is, is going to be good. And I will see you again soon.